Hey everybody, this is Arturo with a new video. This is my take on the theme of Final Fantasy for the character design challenge. These are the few of the rough sketches I did working out the, the redesign I was going to do for Tifa. Uh, from Obviously from Final Fantasy 7. It's been big in the media because the remake came out recently. And uh, I've, I've been a fan of this. I mean, I've liked this character since I saw her in uh, uh, the movie Advent Children. I've never played the, the RPG before. I'm, I'm not a fan of those kind of games. But I really liked the design of the character in the movie. And I also like the, the new interpretation of the character for the updated version, the, the remake with the new, new graphics and new gameplay and everything. And uh, I wanted to do an original, like a, a reinterpretation of the character, not completely different, still in line with the original Final Fantasy VII design, like from the 90s, but updated a little bit. I mean, I, I wanted to do something that was easily cosplayable. I mean, her, her, her original outfit is, is pretty basic. And I wanted to keep this one really basic too. I wanted it to be uh, like something you could get basically in a store. You know, nothing, no, no extravagant uh, alterations to it. And uh, I went for the short dungarees. And I wanted to s s stay in line with her color palette. So it's just basically black and white and red. I also wanted to give her a little uh, baseball cap. Because uh, I found some reference of a, must have been a Korean girl or something like a K-pop artist or something. Somebody, this girl had a, a black hat on and I thought that, that was, that's going to look good on, on my reinterpretation. Also the, the red gloves, it's like basic uh, red leather gloves and a little white top and a sports bra. You know, pretty basic stuff. And I uh, also wanted to do like uh, a portrait exploration of, of her look and, and uh, a back view. I went with the dungarees because uh, if I'm not mistaken, the the, the character is from the countryside, you know, in in the whole Final Fantasy realm of, of, of the game. But in, I think it was Crisis Core or something like that. Uh, I don't really know. But I saw her in a cow cowboy, cowgirl out outfit. And uh, I was like, all right, she, so she's kind of a big country. So I said, let's give her some, some dungarees. Those are about as country as, as they come and it was it was gonna be like a trucker hat which would have worked but I liked the subtlety of the black hat and I also like that uh, kind of racing uh, number seven like a NASCAR number seven that I gave to her hat and it's it's based on her her bar the bar she she has is called seventh heaven and it's Final Fantasy 7 so it's it, it goes in line. I mean, there's there's a certain logic to it, and it works. And like I said, it's pretty. I would think it's pretty easy to get something like that made. You know, just create the ver vector graphic, print it out, get it embroidered in, in a black hat, and seventh heaven on the on the side. Pretty simple, <laughs> I think. I was very happy with a lot of the interpretations that I did in the sketch phase and I could have taken it in any of those routes. I was really happy with the first interpretation that I did, which is the first drawing that came up in this video. Uh, it was a very cartoony look, simple, some exaggerated bits like big big hands, big feet, and, uh, the, and, and a big head. Like I said, keeping it cartoony, like it was a, a Disney princess or something like that. And I also wanted to, I gave her like a white blouse and did some alterations to the, to the outfit. 
because I wanted to see because she she has a bar she's bartender and I wanted to show her in a sophisticated bartender look and in a more casual relaxed uh, look and like I said those could have worked and uh, I could have done this image a long time ago but I was working on a personal project that I that I had to focus on and just basic red converse shoes no she usually has these red boots with metal things and all sorts of stuff And I also wanted to give her like a jacket and she she has the jacket resting on her elbows like like it's halfway on and uh, I, I envisioned like sort of like a letterman jacket but um, or something along those lines that had the seven on it as well and on the back it said seventh heaven kind of like the pink ladies from Greece something like that some sort of that thing because I, I envisioned her, in this case, like being, what, like 18, 19, maybe 20, you know? And I went again. I was going to leave the digital pencil look to it, but I just decided to refine and refine because... Another way to go about it was to do clean final line art uh, over the rough sketch and then adding the color under the line art. But I wanted to just flow with it and just fix it as I went, you know, refine it going from general to specific and just focusing on a bit of the shading and some highlights here and there, but nothing, nothing too extravagant. I've always liked the character because she's a, a really good balance of strong, like a fighting ability, but yet she's she's a sweet uh, character. You know, she's very motherly, she's very caring from what I gathered from the videos. Like I said, I've never played this, this, um, this game, but from what I've seen, she's like I said, she's motherly and sweet, and she can kick your butt if push comes to shove, you know? It'd be really cool to see somebody cosplaying this version of the character, this outfit. I did a interpretation of Rogue from the X-Men in a steampunk look, and uh, a couple of people asked me if they could cosplay it, and I was like, yeah, sure, I mean, <laughs> if you can manage it, <laughs> you can cosplay it all you want. Anyways, this video is almost done. Just a couple of tweaks here and there. This is the final version of the image. I'm very happy with how it came out. 
it's pretty much how I envisioned it and uh, yeah it would be an idea to interpret Cloud and Barrett and maybe a couple of all the other characters in this style here are more character design videos that I've done subscribe if you haven't if you want to see more of these videos every so often <laughs> I hope you like this one it's been a while talk to you soon okay bye bye